To me, all you are is a silly little boy who's a wanker. I'm 71, I train every day. Well, I'd smash you to fucking pieces, you little prick, yeah? I would smash you to pieces. All you are is a little wanker. Don't ever come on a podcast thinking you're big time Charlie fucking potatoes, you little cunt. Yeah, thinking that Rail's past it. Rail ain't fucking past it, mate. I can assure you that. Right, hi guys, welcome back to Karen TV, we're bringing the most exciting interviews from around the world. Today we're back with uh, Karen's favourite, Ray Hill. Ray, how are you doing, mate? Hello, mate, how are you? Very well, thank you. How's Good. things? Well, I had a bit of a fucking problem in the week, you know, some silly arsehole saying things that he shouldn't have said, you know? Okay, uh, so, so people don't know, um, you, are you referring to the Matty, Matty Howard? Matty Howard turn out, yeah. The yeah. Matty Howard interview with uh, Liam Galvin. Liam Galvin, yeah. I, I, I actually think he just gets confused, right? Because mm -hmm. yeah. uh, he's on that other shit, and when you're on that other shit, you don't know what you're doing, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, I don't wish him any badness. What, all I'm saying is, he's 71, mate, it's like in your age, you know what I mean? Ray's a big man, even now. But Ray's never scared me. I don't, you know, what's Ray going to do to me? Ray could do me, yeah, physically with his hand. But he knows he fucking want to come back to him, so we'll leave that at that, eh? Yeah, yeah. And so talk to us about how you know Matty, and uh, um, you said you met him during some fight nah, with the Chelsea. No, 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 I've known Matty, I've known Matty since he was a kid, yeah. Um, I used to, when I, when, when I, like, I was with the other, other mob, I, I lived in Kingston. I used to go down and see a lot in Fulham, yeah? Tommy McCoy, Billy McCoy, but the most one I used to see is Dominic, yeah? Dominic McCoy was the oldest brother. He was a blinder, you know what I mean? He's proper Dominic. And anyway, so um, I, I used to go down there, give them 20 quid, 30 quid, the boys, yeah, like, like Barney, he used to be their matty sometimes, give him a little bit of money, but they were little fuckers, you know what I mean, they'd go to work, they'd always get money, they'd always get money, but they were little fuckers, you know, and, um, you know, I, I, I got on really well with them, you know what I mean, I got on well, on well with all the McCoys, little Matty, Matty was alright, and a couple of times when my mate had a, had a, uh, a car front in... Uh, Shepherd's Bush, Matty lived across the road, yeah? Anyway, and my mate said to me one day, he said, fucking all way. He said, I don't know what's happening, mate, but across the road, the old Billy looking, yeah, looking at, looking at me for some reason. I said, what's up? He said, I said, they're across the road. So anyway, I went across the road with a power mines, kicked the door in, downstairs, went up the stairs, fucking smashed the other door in, and he has the old Bill, Cameron, across the road. I went, what are you fucking doing? I went, who the fuck are you? I said, you know who I am, what are you doing? Right, we shot down the stairs, within seconds they was gone. Packed up all the stuff we were gone. And Matty lived downstairs. Right, so I knocked to Matty's door. I said, Matty, did, was it you who told John the old Bill was up? He said, yeah, I told John that the old Bill was upstairs, yeah? I said, why didn't you fucking tell him a long time ago? Why do you have to tell him that? He said, no, I just found out, yeah? So anyway, so that was like really got a bit of burr, went to prison, come out, see Matty a few times, didn't really, he's, not, he's nothing to me, he's only a kid. He ain't nothing, he's doing his bits and pieces, he's going around nicking bits and fucking bits of watches and bits of jewellery and things like that anyway. But, and then I'm like, I'm around my mate's club, yeah, it's called, um, uh, um, oh fucking hell, what was it called now, it was um, um, Central Park, yeah, Central Park by, by, by the park in Acton, yeah. I, look, I looked after the club for quite some time, but... Because I was the only one that looked after it, there was a lot of trouble there. I was on the door, then sometimes a bit of trouble. I had to run upstairs or run downstairs to where was the trouble was. So I asked John, my mate Johnny Lawrence, yeah, to go and get someone else. Yeah, yeah so Johnny Lawrence I had the club. He had a club with another guy called Will, yeah, a very good friend of mine, yeah. And anyway, but I said to John, look, this is a bit much, mate. I've got to fucking run downstairs, run upstairs. When I need someone else. So he said, I'll sort it out. All one, one day, this fucking black guy come in, mate. He's like a tower, mate. He was massive. He was as, he was as wide as what I am tall. You know what I mean? And his name was Jefferson King. He was he's from Shadow. His name was Shadow, and he was from uh, uh, Gladiators. Yeah. And I thought, fucking hell, he's massive. Anyway, one day that, that on Saturday it was um, my mate my, my mate uh, Gary Francis comes in. He'd been stabbed up, Gary. He'd been stabbed up. He told me Gary that he'd been stabbed up 26 times. Yeah, but he had bandages everywhere and everything. He, anyway, coming with a lot of people, and after that, a lot of Chelsea headhunters coming. I didn't want to let him in, you know, but 
I let him in because the Gary's, they, they, they was with Gary, yeah? Anyway, they went upstairs, nothing was, hap nothing was happening, it was all quiet. All of a sudden, uh, fucking Dominic, Mc I don't know, it was uh, Tom McCoy, Billy McCoy, a couple of other people, Craig. Uh, Craig Craig is a, a, a proper, proper fucking guy, Craig. He's a black belt judo expert, he's looked after all the clubs, Henry Cooper's clubs in Old Kent Road, he's a right handful, Craig, you can know the right value, yeah? he come in, and then Matty, I don't fucking, I mean, I mean, Matty was like, just nothing, he was just like someone hanging on to people, he was no, he was a no one, you know, he was, I mean, he was really, really, he was just a melt, you know what I mean, he was no one, he was to hang on to people, he can't have a fight, he can't hold his hands up, and then, anyway, so, Goes upstairs, all of a sudden I can hear commotion upstairs, runs upstairs, it's fucking off, isn't it? It's really off. He's upstairs, fucking, uh, what's he call it, um, gladiator, fucking, uh, uh, fucking Jefferson and King, he's upstairs, he's having a row with people, but all of a sudden he gets fucking put to the floor, and something's put in his mouth, yeah? Put Someone puts something in his mouth and blows his fucking head off, yeah? And it's off now, it's off. So Gary Francis, He's gassing, he's got gas, he's gassing the whole fucking, he's gassing the whole place up, yeah? He's throwing bottles around, and there's really a bad fucking fight. So I, and I, get, I get involved, get stuck in the middle of them, I start knocking them out. I mean, they can't fight. They can't fight, and one thing I can do is fucking bang, yeah? I can have a white fight. So I'm in the middle, knocking knocking this out, knocking that, and Matty's spark out on the floor. Matty's, <laughs> Matty's I can remember, Matty's spark out on the floor, he's like, all curled up, spark out, yeah? He's either knocked out or fucking shitting yourself, you know what I mean? He's on the floor. Anyway, Craig comes over to me, Craig starts helping me out, we start knocking all these people out anyway, and it's gone. But there's all fucking bottles, glasses everywhere. But as we're cleaning up, yeah, I notice on the floor, there's a watch, <coughs> a gold chain and a gold bracelet, yeah? So I thought, fuck it, I'll pick it up and give it to my mate Johnny Lawrence, yeah? And it happened to be Matty's. Whether or not it was Matty's, I don't know. But Matty says it was his. He give it to Matty, yeah. I got a thank you. And that was about it. Really, it's the last time I really, really seen Matty, yeah. Anyway, and then I'm goes in prison for a bit of time. Well, a bit of time, a fucking long time actually. Come out. I goes down. I'm I'm down. I've done my IPP, yeah. So I've done ten years of my IPP, right. So I'm out about. I'm over healing. And I bumped into Matty, yeah. Hello, mate, how you going? All right, mate, you fucking this, that and the other. He went, uh, what are you doing? I said, right, he said, do you want, do you want some uh, bits and pieces? I said, not really, mate, I'm an IPP, I can't do fuck all, you know what I mean? I've got to keep myself straight to my straight, yeah? He went, I've got this, do you want it? I'm not, I'm not interested, mate, I'm not interested. Anyway, he was doing these things, he was selling them, selling them, selling them, and earning lots of money, yeah? So I wasn't really, really involved, but Matty took my number, my phone number, and we talked on the phone, this on the phone, go and see him. And he always he lived in Ealing Broadway, so he said, Come up my place. He said, We have a chat. So I went and see him in his flat. It wasn't his flat, it was rented by some it was rented to him by someone else. And some the person who rented it was his bird. And the person whose bird it was, it was a proper his dad, right? His dad was a proper fucking face, mate. A proper fucking face, yeah. He died, yeah. He died he OD'd, yeah. But it was proper fucking place anyway. And um, then Matty, st I went in, when I went into the place, I couldn't believe it. There was all these pictures on the wall, yeah? Pictures and all these books everywhere. So I didn't know it was rented. I didn't know that time it was rented. So he's going, Matty, oh, them pictures are worth this, these pictures are worth that, yeah? I went, fucking hell. They're nice, mate. I said, I love pictures. I said, yeah, he said, they're like 10 grand, 20 grand, 15 grand. He said, all them books are first year shoes and this, that, they're worth lots of money. It wasn't even his flat, you know what I mean? Anyway, I was down Ealing Broadway to meet him on another occasion, and all of a sudden he pulled up, he pulled up in his fucking Mercedes estate, and then on the passenger side was this bird, I'm not joking, she was absolutely stunning, mate. She was really, really stunning, really fashionable, fashionable, absolutely stunning. And there's Matty next to her and the driver fucking pulls her over and starts putting his tongue down her throat and groping her, yeah? But she was fucking beautiful. She was, so, she was just embarrassed, you know what I mean? And then Matty said, I'll come back to the flat. So I went back to the flat and all of a sudden she's said, oh, I've got to go, mate, give me a lift home. So he gives her a lift home 
right? I stayed in the flat, waiting for Matty to come back. I said, listen, you're a bit out of order doing this, but it was about two hours. I said, you're a bit out of order putting that bird about. No, fucking this and fucking that. He winds up, she winds up um, coming to the flat to see Matty all the time, but then Matty gets chucked out. These people chuck him out because he ain't paid the rent. He ain't paid the rent. He's messed, he's must, the, the gap is smashed to pieces, boy. It's this wrecks it. Bottles everywhere, glasses, drink, every fucking way, yeah? Anyway, and then he moves in with his moves in with his girl, yeah, in North London. There's a square in North London, yeah, where a lot of bad people live, yeah. But Matty's with the bird. All of a sudden, this bird has given me the phone number, right? Before, without Matty saying, phone me, right, yeah. I want to talk to you. Anyway, so I was to phone her up and had a meet with her a couple of times. We've had a little drink in a bar and all we sat in the cafe, yeah. And she was nice, yeah. I wouldn't go beyond Matty's fucking back, really, you know what I mean? Does not he? Fucking, I didn't want to fuck him up, I'm that sort of a guy, yeah? Anyway, so, she phoned me up one day, really crying her eyes out. I said, what's that, babe? She went, oh, Matty. I said, what's that about me? She said, he's, he's like bullying my fucking kids, two little boys. He's bullying my boys, and they're telling me, Ray. I said, yeah, well, I said, you know, like, fucking check, get rid of him. She said, no, he's driving me mad. I said, well, tell your fucking brothers. She got two brothers that are fucking bad, bad people, yeah? She said, no, I don't want to get mad at her. I said, listen, you can't be fucking about your kids, yeah? You can't be bashing, like, giving your kids a little pinching and all that game. You can't be doing it, yeah? I said, fucking sort it out and get hold of your brothers. And when she got hold of her brothers, the brothers said, look, you've made your fucking own, own bed, you know what I mean? You've got to sort it out, yeah? But if he goes, keeps going as he's going, he's going to get hurt, yeah? So I got another phone call. She said, Ray, Ray. I said, what's up, babe? She said, he fucking, she said, I went out, I come back, he's gone. He's took all the stuff and gone, but not only has he took all the stuff, right? I've noticed he's been in my fucking drawers and he's took all my jewelry. My mum's jewelry, my auntie's jewelry, rings, watches, chains. I went, you're joking. She said, yeah, Ray, not only, not only that, mate, my brothers are going fucking mad. Yeah, they want to kill him, mate. Not literally kill him, but they want to hurt him, yeah? I went, fuck's sake. I said, look, let me try and find him, yeah? Let me try and find him for you. Anyway, I got a phone call from some people who said, look, we've got Matty, yeah? So I went to fucking see Matty. I said, see you, you little cunt. Where's the girl's fucking bits and pieces? He went, I pawned them, I pawned them. I said, get the pawn ticket. He said, I ain't got them, I ain't got them. He said, my sister's got them, yeah? I said, where's your sister? He went, no, I can't, I can't see. I said, where's your sister? He went, she's in Charing Cross Hospital, she's a nurse, right? I went, okay. I said, right, you fucking get them and meet me, yeah? So what it was, what we didn't know, that Matty's sister, she works at the back of Charing Cross Hospital in a mental health place, yeah? She's got a mental health, like a little hospital at the back where people go with mental health issues, yeah? And she's in charge. Well, what Matty does, because he's got a bit of mental health issues himself, his sister books him in. Without him going to court, without him going to see the doctor, she books him in, which is fucking wrong, you know what I mean? But she books him in for three or four months at a time. So that's where he goes. He fucking goes in there and he hides. He hides, yeah? I thought, what a wanker. He's hiding in there, yeah? So we can't, three or four months, we can't find him. No one knows where, at, at that time, we, no one knows where he was, yeah? This is only after we found out about this. Anyway, she then phoned me up and said, my brothers are going fucking mad, mate. Honestly, they want to really oblige this geezer. I said, look, I don't know where he lives. He's moved. He ain't there no more. I ain't got a clue where he is because I didn't know he was in the hospital at that time, yeah? So all of a sudden, he comes, he comes about again and says to me, look, I'll, I'll, give her, I'll give her back her money. She's sweet, yeah? I ain't, now, she's changed her number because of Matty, yeah? I can't get hold of her. I'm believing Matty. So Matty comes around this place, my flat now, yeah, to see me. We're having a little chat about things. He's got some things he wants to sell me, but I don't want to get involved in it yet. But he said, come on, mate. I said, no, no, fuck that. So he comes to my flat, and another mate of mine here who's a, who's a, who's a proper fucking, he's a scaffold. He's got big companies, but he's a, they, there's a lot of brothers, yeah? And they've got a big scaffold company, and they're not nice people, mate. Anyway, they've got f some things for sale, yeah? So Matt said, I'll do them, I'll do them. I went, Matty, Mate, no, you can't. My mate said, what, what? I said, look, no, you can't. He went, come on, I'll do it. My brother's got some on the form. So I said to my mate, how many you got? He went, I've got loads. He said, oh, look, get, get 10 down to me. I'll, I'll 
give them to Matty. I'm so forgiving. I fucking should never forgive this cunt. He's a wanker, mate. He's a fucking wanker. So I give him this fucking ten. Week, two weeks, and we uh, ain't heard nothing, right? All of a sudden, he phones me back. Right, he phones me up. He went, I ain't forgot you. I'll give it to someone, but I can't find this guy. I said, mate, do sort of favour, mate. Fucking either give me him back or pay for him because these people ain't people to fuck about with, yeah? He went, I promise, I promise, I promise. All the time these people would come out and see me and say, listen, do you sort of favour, right? they got to come back, yeah? And things, right? they got to come back. I went, okay, yeah, yeah. He'd gone now, all of a sudden, he's gone to his sister's behind Charing Cross in the fucking mental place, yeah? I can't find him. I don't know who's there at this time. I don't know where the fuck he is, yeah? He's gone missing, but these people are going fucking mad. They want to absolutely fucking do on my case, yeah? So I'm really, in a, in a way, I'm thinking, well, it's going to go off with me, yeah? They're going to take me away, mate, you know what I mean? Oh, well, I know where, but they're going to take me away, yeah? So anyway, I'm trying to get hold of Matty, phone people up, I can't find him. All of a sudden, he, he phones me up, he went, Ray, 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 sorry, mate, I've, I've been in a fucking problem, mate, to go away somewhere, I've got these things for you, right? I said, it's a, where, where are you going to meet me? He went, I'll meet you at Acton Town Station, yeah? Right, I go to Acton Town Station, I'm waiting for him, all of a sudden he comes off this fucking train, so he must have gone from Hammersmith, like the Piccadilly line, yeah, from Hammersmith, got off and give me the bag, yeah, with his things. But when I got to my house with his fucking things, there's three of them, yeah, three, and the rest is wrapped up in bricks and fuck, as whatever, yeah. So he's nicked seven of these things, right. Now these people, I've got a phone them like they come to my fucking house, yeah. I went, look, that's what I've been given. This is what he's done, this little cunt. Where is he, right? I said, I don't know. I don't know where he fucking is, mate. I ain't got a clue, you know. Well, tell him, if you get hold of him, he's got to fucking pay the money with these. Otherwise, you're in fucking, you are the one who took them. It's you're involved in it. You've got to touch, but pay for them. I went, fucking hell. Anyway, Matt, I can't find Matty. He's back in that gap. But, oh, I made myself really, really, really busy, yeah. And I cop hold of Matty, and I find out where he's living, yeah. I got hold of him and kick the fucking door down, right? Like, go in there and there's Matty sitting, he's shitting his fucking self like a baby, crying like a baby, like a little baby. Wait, wait, wait. I said, listen, you've got to pay for these fucking things, right? He gives me some money. He don't pay for whatever he's got to pay for. He gives me some money. I'll give his money to these people. And I start really, I'm so fucking forgiving. I don't know why I forgive this arsehole. I'm letting him, letting it go, yeah? These people are fucking half letting it go because it's been such a long time, but they're still wanting their bits and pieces of their money, yeah? I'll start making fucking, not mates, chatting to him on the phone. So all of a sudden he goes to me, uh, I hear you're doing podcasts, you know? I says, yeah, I am, is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. He went, what's this guy's name? Leon fucking, Leon. Leon Galvin. Yeah, Leon Galvin. So... I went, I don't even know these guys. Yeah, he does podcasts, he's really, really good. He wants to podcast you, he reckons you're the best. I went, look, I don't really want to, I don't know this guy. I don't really want to do a podcast with him, you know what I mean? I've got my own people, yeah? I've got Christian, I've got fucking, I've got, and I don't, I wouldn't go beyond Christian's back. Why should I go beyond Christian's back doing that podcast with someone else when Christian is doing what he's doing, yeah? You've got Sean coming up in the next week yeah. or two as well. You okay, to do. okay, so anyway, so I'm going, Okay, he went, Ray, I said, what? He went, Fish is going to come and do a podcast with me as well. I went, okay, good, that's fucking good. So Fish goes and, and does a podcast up there, right? But next thing I'm fucking, next thing I hear, that this arsehole is fucking slagging me down, this Leon, this Leon fucking geezer, yeah? Slagging me down on the phone, saying about he can do this, he can do that about me looking after the club, doing the club and bashing people up. Like, okay, I did it, that's what I did. But once he starts talking about that I'm 71 and I'm a has been, I should keep my mouth shut, right? And he can do this and he can do that. Maybe I could do him with my fist, but he could do me otherwise. What the fuck? This geezer is a complete wanker. And people in the bush, proper people like Craig, Alec, Fucking Martin, Martin, proper people are saying to me, what the fuck have you been doing with this geezer? This geezer is a pub person that all he does is drink, 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 gets drunk, shouting his mouth about all his silly mates in the pub, yeah? 
He's a complete and out arsehole. Everybody says he's an arsehole. He knows he's an arsehole, yeah? And that he's talking about me. What gives him the rights to talk about Mickey Theo, me and the dog and the shooting? He says everybody knows who shot, shot the dog. Well, if he fucking knows, tell me. Because I don't even fucking know. Tell me. Matty, tell me who fucking shot my dog. You're big time Charlie Potatoes, right? To me, all you are is a silly little boy who's a wanker. I'm 71, I train every day. Well, I'd smash you to fucking pieces, you little prick, yeah? I would smash you to pieces. All you are is a little wanker. Don't ever come on a podcast thinking you're big time Charlie fucking potatoes, you little cunt, yeah? Thinking that Rail's past it. Rail ain't fucking past it, mate. I can assure you that. Listen to me, I'll bash any cunt up. Mate, I ain't fighting no cunt, and you know fucking know that, yeah? So don't get fucking leery, you little cunt, yeah? Right, mate? The IPP, Ray Hill. I will phone the police on you because you're an IPP. You can't touch me, I'll phone the police. Is that what it is, Matty? Is that what it is? Because I'm an IPP, you little prick, yeah? It is that, Matty, isn't it? I am an IPP. And do you think I'm going to waste my time bashing you up, you little fucking fat little prick? Right? Because I put me back away. And you'd love it, wouldn't you, matey? Yeah? You can't hold your hands up, son. Do a sort of favour. You grow up, yeah? Don't start getting on podcasts with people who aren't thinking of big time to over take because you ain't. You ain't, right? As for Barney, I apologise to Barney. Why you brought Barney up, I don't fucking know. Me and Barney are okay, yeah? I apologise to him, yeah? The McCoys are my mates. My mates, I ain't got no bad feelings with the McCoys. I ain't got no bad feelings with the McCoys. We ain't fell out of it, I think. It's only me and Barney fell out of that, and I apologise. Why does it need you to tell me, to tell everybody around the world that you're big time Charlie Potatoes, I'm only a plonker, yeah? A 71 year old plonker wants to behave yourself. You're the plucking plonker. You're fucking mentally insane, son. Bipolar, bipolar what, you fucking prick? Bipolar, what's that in? What's bipolar? What, you become all violent, mate? You'll behave yourself, son. That's all I've got to say to you, now fuck off. Thank you